Hey folks, it's Mac back, and I'm here to uh, talk with you again about Blue Collar Leadership, leading from the front lines. Today we're talking about Chapter 3, Chapter 3 of 30. And uh, again, these, these, this little book, 30 chapters, 3 pages per chapter, usually takes you about 6 or 7 minutes. So, you know, if you, if you get this book, uh, most all of my books now are right in that format, 30 pages, 3 pages, or excuse me, 30 chapters, 3 pages per chapter. But you can read a chapter, even I, a slow reader, can read a chapter in six or seven minutes. So these little books, you know, you, you get the book, read a chapter a day, you will have read a book a month. And most people don't read any books, so it's not, it's not that hard to start getting ahead. But chapter three today is about, it's titled, You're in the Perfect Place. We started out with I'm one of you. We, then I talked about I believe in you. Today, I want you to know you're in the perfect place. You may not realize that, but what that means is you can grow from wherever you're at to wherever you want to be. You're in the perfect place. We always are. And I learned, you know, quite a few years ago, I heard someone say this and it stuck with me. But wherever we are, we should always be grateful. Grateful for the pay, grateful for the job grateful for whatever's going on in, our, on in our life, that we're able to experience it, but we should never be satisfied. It means we should always be striving, moving forward in, in, in growth. So when we talk about you're in the perfect place, you're exactly where you're supposed to be, but not where you have to be. So if you don't like where you're at, change it. Don't complain about it. Complaining about it is going to ensure you're still there tomorrow, but change it. Do something about it. The opening quote for this chapter, I want to read it too. It says, an, ed an educated person is not the one with the most knowledge. An educated person is the one who is willing to reflect, evaluate, and modify his most cherished beliefs when a new idea comes along. And that was written by Mr. Christian Simpson. And so I hope throughout this series, especially if you're a blue-collar worker, but anybody, throughout this series, I hope, you change what you believe because I want you to have a better life. I probably want you to have a better life better than you want to have a better life. I mean, I'm taking my time to read and grow and learn so that I can help others have a better life. Most people won't even do that for themselves. You know, I started out doing that literally in 2008. I wanted to be better. I wanted to mainly be better when I was working, leading lean teams uh, through process improvement. If you don't know, I have over 11,000 hours leading lean teams, Kaizen events, those sort of things. So I started working on me. For the, about the first four years, I was working on me relative to being a, a, a better lean consultant, doing a better job with the people and the teams. But in 2012, it kind of transitioned to, I really started working on me. I thought I was working on me for the first four years, but I, I wasn't really, I, not for the right reasons. I was working on me to, to, to do a better job and, and to make more money and to get better results in, at work kind of thing. Four years into that, in 2012, I started working on me, meaning my character, intentionally. Started changing everything. That's the year I quit drinking alcohol. That's the year I, I quit using profanity. And if you don't know, I was in, in the Marine Corps out of high school and joined in 1987. And uh, I was in the infantry reserve unit. And... Uh, most of us infantry, Marines, any Marines for that matter, most of us are really good at alcohol and profanity. So that was something I had to unlearn. But anyway, just want you to know it. This section, this chapter three, you're in the perfect place. You're in the perfect place to move forward. So make it happen or someone else will.